What is your name, please? What's your name? Amelia Pond. Amelia Jessica Pond. That's a brilliant name. Amy. Amy Pond. My name is Amy Pond. Who's Amy? You were Amelia. Yeah, now I'm Amy. Amelia Pond. Like a name in a fairy tale. That was a great name. But fairy tale. Your hair is orange. When I was seven, I had an imaginary friend. Funny. Am I? My raggedy doctor. He is, isn't he? He's the doctor. The raggedy doctor. All those cartoons you did when you were little. He wasn't imaginary. He was real. And my imaginary friend came back. Oh dear, little Amelia Pond. You said six months. Why did you say six months? Little Amelia Pond. Waiting for her magic doctor to return. Give me five minutes. I'll be right back. Why did you say five minutes? People always say that. Poor Amy. Still such a child inside. So that's... Fourteen years. Fourteen years since fish custard. Dreaming of the magic doctor she knows will return to save her. Come with me. Where? Wherever you want. Goodbye, Deadworth. Hello, everything. The Doctor and Amy Pond. We are in space! Woo! It's, it's been amazing. It's beautiful. History. Thanks for bringing me. Earth Pond, Earth Pond. Come in, Pond. The Blessed, the Wonderful, Mad, Impossible Amy Pond. Does it scare you? No, it just looks a bit weird. The girl who didn't make sense. How good I resist. Oh, be good to yourself. Very old and very kind and the very, very last. Well, listen to me, Doctor. We can't be like him. Somehow you'll never give up. We have to be better than him. She's good, Doctor. I'm not scared. Of course you're not. You're not scared of anything. Scared? Who's scared? It's dangerous. Don't follow me under any circumstances. You're still here. Which part of waiting the TARD is till I tell you it's safe or so confusing? Oh, don't mind me. Never could resist taking back thing. Will you follow him? Of course. Is that a problem? I'm still here, aren't I? Amy, listen to me. This is going to be hard, but I know. You can do it. You know what's dangerous about you? Throw the gun down. Or I shoot. What are you doing? Saving your life. Okay with that, are you? What are you doing? Saving your life! <laughs> It's not that you make people take risks, it's that you make them want to impress you. I don't need you to die for me, Doctor. Do I look that clean? Maybe no! No! I did never do anything to disappoint your precious doctor. You make it so they don't want to let you down. The doctor is very precious to me, right? You won't shoot me, Amy. How do you know? Maybe I've changed. But do you know what else he is? Whatever that means, you've made a big mistake bringing me here, because not here. <gasps> Wait till you see what's coming for you now. You sound Scottish. I am Scottish. What's wrong with that? Because you're the Scottish girl in the English village, and I know how that feels. Are you also a queen? Yes. Yes, I am. My name is Amy Pond, and you better get me the hell out of here, or so help me, I'm gonna kick your fat guy! No offense to the others, but uh, you let them all die first, okay? That's more carol thingers. I have a more pistol. You don't want to be all wet on a night like this. There you watch it, because I am armed and really dangerous and cross. I count as a boy. Did you just shush me? You're so Scottish. <laughs> I'm glad you're OK. Me too. Trust me. Yeah. The Doctor's been part of my life for so long now, and he's never let me down. You have to remember. Don't have a mum and dad, just an aunt. Amy, your house is too big. Too many empty rooms. Where were your mum and dad? Does it ever bother you, Amy, that your life doesn't make any sense? There's a crack in my wall. There's a crack in time in the wall of your bedroom. So, please, please, could you send someone to fix it? And it's been eating away at your life for a long time now. It's the crack in my wall. Amy Pond. All alone. Memories are more powerful than you think. Try and remember your family and they'll be there. You're my mum. Ah, oh, Amelia. You saved me. <laughs> You're my friend. You're my best friend. Gotcha. Gotcha. Amy Pond in the TARDIS with Rory Williams. Did I ever tell you about this boy I met there? He was so beautiful. I hear the song of your sadness. I am not leaving him. We have to. This is the dream. I don't know. If his body's absorbed, I'll forget him. 
Because if this is real life, I don't want it. I don't want it. Rory still lives in your mind. I'm gonna pull time apart for you. You are Rory Williams and you are going anywhere ever again. I won't let them take him. I love you. I love you too. Together. Or not at all. Hey, look at this. Got my spaceship, got my boys. Ha! It's a pond! Oh, hey. Hello, here is done. Go save every world you can find. Who else has that chance? Goodbye! Goodbye. Amy Pond. He always leaves you, doesn't he? <sighs> Dr. No, don't leave me. Alone in the dark. I'll be back for you as soon as I can, I promise. You always say that. It's you. You came back. I always come back. Of course I came back. I always come back. I just knew. Never apologises. He doesn't have to. The guy who waited. All night in your garden. Even when I thought he had, when I was a kid and he left me, he came back. The girl who waited. You've waited long enough. How long? Two years? Ten months? Still, what's it been? Nine months? I'm not gonna hug first. Nor am I. Ten months. <laughs> Time dies. Never really understood that phrase. You told me to wait, and I did. A lifetime. Every minute I'm listening out for that stupid TARDIS. Song. Right, so it's my fault now, is it? I can't not wait for you. The girl who waited. What's it worth? You can wait a long time for the doctor, but he's worth it, okay? Shut up. Of course it was. It's time to stop waiting. There's something different about you, isn't there? You're thinking of stopping, aren't you? Could we leave it a while? Not forever, just a couple of months. I think it's been ten years. Our friends are going to start noticing that we're aging faster. Not for you. Or Earth, but for us. But since you dropped us back here, since you gave us this house, you know, we built a life. Ten years older, ten years of you. I write travel articles for magazines and Rory heals the sick. Well, our lives have changed so much. Look at you now. All grown up. You both have lives here. Beautiful, messy lives. That is what makes you so fabulously human. What do we do? Did real life just get started? Choose. I like it. I... miss you. Is it bad that I've really missed this? Yes. Good. Oh, no. I've missed you. Okay, <laughs> hugging and missing now. Actually, it's you they can't give up, Doctor. I'm running to you and Rory before you. Fade. You'll be there till the end of me. Or vice versa. Just bring them back safe. Afterward, by Amelia Williams. That is exciting. <laughs> and the times we had, eh? Ah. Why did you do that? Oh, I always rip out the last page of a book. And it doesn't have to end. You're leaving, aren't you? Because you're still breathing. I stole your childhood and now I've led you by the hand to your death. Oh my god. No. And what's the alternative? Me standing over your grave. You must be very special. You're special. Amelia. The first face that this face saw. And you'll see it onto my heart. Amelia Pond. I hate endings. I started to think that maybe you were just like a madman with a box. I really am just a madman in a box. I will never be able to see you again. I'll be fine. I know it will. I'll, I'll, I'll be with him like I should be. Me and Rory together. Raggedy man. Raggedy man! <laughs> Goodbye. Bye bye, Bob. Good night. Hello, old friend. Over here. Amy and Rory. It was Amy and Rory. There's a little girl waiting in a garden. Tell her she'll go to sea and fight pirates. So know that we lived well and we're very happy. Tell her she'll give hope to the greatest painter who ever lived. Tell her this is the story of Amelia Pond. And this is how it ends.